name is Ben, and that is my assistant, Shishi. I'm here to interview you. Okay. Do you like living in Malaysia? Yeah, yes, I, I think so. I, I really like living in Malaysia because there's a tropical, uh, they got excellent tropical rainforest, this um, inexplicable beauty in Malaysia. Especially it's rainforest, some of the species are never found in the other parts of the world. But also the, the different cuisine and the mixture of the cuisines from different areas in the world make it make Malaysia totally unique. Okay. Which place in Malaysia do you like? Um, I seem to like Penang the most because of its of its, of its beaches. It looks extremely beautiful and, and it looks as if what you would see in a movie, what is the haven of the earth. And you can see nature nature at its best there. Okay. Is the economy is the economy strong or weak in Malaysia? I think the economy is strong because we don't seem to be going through any depression or anything, uh, anything of that sort. Doesn't, there's nothing really affecting the citizens' life in any way, and it still seems to be at a good stage. This, it's, it's not really at an unaffordable price, or it's not as bad as other places in the world, which are also being hit by an economic crisis now. Okay, one thing, Sam. Speak loudly. Will you suggest anyone to live in your country? Um, yes, I'll suggest uh, quite a few people because I think that this is country is really is a part of all the others in almost everything in its nature, its, its cuisine as I mentioned earlier and also its infrastructure and how developed it is. I, th I think it will be a really good opportunity for other people from other countries to live here. Can you tell us a brief history of your country? Oh, Malaysia was actually um, the straight settlements in 18 uh, in around the eight, early 1800s. Soon after, it became united into one country, which was called Malay Malaya at first, which was under the British rule. And um, in about 1942 or 1941, it was invaded by the Japanese, and the Japanese had taken over rule for about three years and three months. And in October 1945, when they had uh, surrendered after the atomic bomb explosion, Malaysia fell back into British rule. And on the 31st of August 1957, Malaysia finally regained, finally gained independence, its own independent country. In, sept in around September 1963, they were organizing, they were organizing for Singapore, Brunei, Sabah, Sarawak, and the Malaysian Peninsula. We all collectively called Malaysia as one country. But soon that fell apart, and now Mal modern day Malaysia is only known as as. It uh, only consists of the Malaysian Peninsula, Sabah, and Sarawak. Yeah. That's great. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay.